cast highlight explore section to get a view of the type of analysis and results that are generated on the cast highlight portal. As you can see, I'm logged into the portal and I'm on the explore page. You can see at the top level, I'm looking at my entire portfolio, which consists of 30 applications. You can see a summary of the three risk areas that we have calculated, production risk, adaptability risk, and software complexity. You can see the total technical debt of the portfolio, as well as the technical debt density, and the total volume of the portfolio, in this case, 13 million lines of code. On the left-hand side, we have preset views. Um, we're gonna discuss briefly the top three risk areas. Um, and then on the right-hand side, you can see we have uh, some help, some definitions of the different risk areas. So in the first view, we have short-term risk, which we present the production risk, which is the probability of short-term failure. This is a scale as of all the risk areas from one to 100, where 100 is the worst or the highest risk, and one is the lowest risk. And on the x-axis, we are showing the software complexity. So the idea of this view is to identify systems within your portfolio that have a high likelihood of failure and that are also complex. And we classify these as short-term risks that require immediate investigation into the underlying root cause. The next view we have is a midterm risk view. Like the previous view, we're showing the software complexity along the bottom. So these are complex systems. Um, but we're contrasting that against the adaptability risk, where we've classified systems based on their maintainability. The idea here is to identify systems that are difficult to maintain and are complex. These do not represent short-term uh, risk failure problems for you, but they simply are long-term maintainability issues that will drain resources over time. And the final view we're going to walk through is the business value by risk. What I identified here is a business value index based on the input gathered by your organization. We look at the scale, the number of users, the impact of the organization if a failure occurs with these systems, and we build an index profile from 1 to 100. And we're going to contrast that against risk. So in this case, we're showing production risk. So what you're able to do is to quickly find high-value systems. So in this case, anything over 75 is high value that have a probability of or, or high level of risk. Um, so you can identify the critical systems that may need attention immediately.